Hi, my name is Zachary Will. I am a videographer in Atlanta, and I just wanted to share with you a couple of tests that I've done with the Panasonic S5 2X. The first test that I did was it against the GH5S, um, and I really wanted to see kind of how the, uh, the noise performance would do in a regular lit scenario um, between probably what's the Micro Four Thirds uh, best low light camera um, versus this new full frame camera. The results were pretty good. I think the GH5S still holds its own, but uh, the S5 II definitely did better. Um, but I wanted to test and see, I want to do a lot of 4K60 recording, and I wanted to see if the image quality and the noise performance were similar between uh, the S5II's full frame and the uh, APS-C crop, um, because that's what the 4K60 does. Um, so here's a quick test that I did of the, um, the full frame versus the APS-C crop just to see kind of the noise performance. One of the interesting things is that in 4K, the crop between APS-C and the pixel to pixel were very similar. So that leads me to believe that the uh, APS-C crop on the S5 II in 4K is uh, pixel to pixel. Um, and that means there's no line skipping or anything like that, which is super nice to know. Um, but uh, when I did 1080p, I could do a pixel to pixel mode and it would cut even closer in. And um, I also showed that in some of the test footage here, um, that didn't look quite as good. I think the APS-C mode crop uh, does look pretty good, especially for 10,000 ISO. Um, so that was a pretty low light scenario. I just kind of put myself in a corner uh, where it's just really dark. And so I think you can, you're safe to say that um, whether you're shooting in the APS-C mode or the full frame mode, you're going to get pretty good noise performance and image quality out of the S5 II. So thanks for watching. Hope this little test helped you um, just learn a little bit more of the settings on the Panasonic S5 II. Thanks for watching.